everyone. I'm Jalayla Starr. Welcome to my weekly messages. Today I want to cover two topics. I'm going to go as quickly as I can because I don't want this to go over 10 minutes. Number one, last week we talked about uh, Maldek, one of the four destroyed human homeworlds whose timeline is being played out between now and 2012 and is part of the ancient prophecies about the Earth's changes between now and 2012. There were three other destroyed worlds, and we'll talk about those um, in, a week, in a, a series of weekly messages that I'm going to begin next week. But the reason I want to bring this up is because I got a whole lot of emails from, all, from many of you regarding what I wrote about Maldek. And what I wrote was that uh, we were trying to alter the timeline of events uh, that led to the destruction of Maldek. Uh, that timeline is playing out now here on Earth, and it it's playing out as a war between the United States and China. And I'll go into more details about that in the weekly message I do on this timeline uh, on Maldek. Uh, but for now, what I just wanted to say was that there's many uh, people who wrote me emails saying, uh, United States, it's, it's not that the United States would provoke China into attacking the United States. It would be that the United States would do something covertly attacking its own people and blame it on China. Well, I just want to say to all of you, you are right. Um, it sounds, that actually more closely aligns with the timeline events of Maldek, in which there was a covert group within the GF, the Galactic Federation, that came up with a plan when the uh, Maldek, when we were at the negotiated, or the, we were discussing certain terms of the GF because the GF had lost Maldek, which was a, a, a strategic outpost in the war, to the, the Orion Empire. And we were very, for, very close to the end and we were discussing having to surrender. And this covert group devised a plan to destroy Maldek and blame it on the Orion Empire, but at the same time route them to where you know we could uh, uh, take over another strategic outpost that the Drax had gotten and turn the tide of the war and eventually end the war, which is what we did. Um, but that more closely aligns the idea that the United States would attack its own country and blame it on China um, than the United States provoking China into attacking the United States. So anyway, I want to say that with you, and uh, say that to you, and and please, you don't have to keep sending me emails anymore. I get it, uh, and I appreciate you pointing that out. Okay, on to today's main topic. Um, I talk about the galactic wounds, and I'll talk about them more in a series, like I just said. That I'll start next week. But the thing I wanted to say was that every one of those worlds never got above 5D. And the reason why is because when all the knowledge of what occurred, of what was happening behind the scenes became known, the hidden knowledge became revealed, the people were got so angry and felt so victimized that they pulled out their guns and started firing away. And the next thing you know, these planets were destroyed. Like I said, those timelines are woven into Earth and those, the final days of those worlds are playing out now. And that's why if you do the uh, 2012 Nibiru DNA and you one day intensive, you'll get the bigger picture of what's going on and you'll understand the past so that way you'll know why events are happening and what timeline they're in involving and what to do about them, which is more important. But for those of you who cannot get to one of those workshops, what do you do? Is that, and in fact, what do you do when you go to a conference of whistleblowers, which are researchers who are giving you this information, this truth, you know, David Icke, and um, there's so many people out there who are, who are good whistleblowers and telling you the truth. I mean, Carrie Cassidy does a lot of those uh, interviews on her show. What do you do with the, re the anger and the helplessness and the hopelessness that you feel and when you realize that, that, you know, the global lead is so big and you're just one individual, what can you do? Um, well, See, that's where we got on these other worlds. And what people did was what they always did. They just pulled out their guns and started firing away. Or they, you know, they started a resistance movement and things like that. And they got angry. But you know what? It led to a destroyed world. 
and it's going to lead that way if we don't do something different this time. So what do we do different? Well, we have to begin to see this from a higher perspective and we begin to understand why the drags should behave the way they do. And also understand why the global elite's doing what it's doing on this planet right now. If you understand the bigger picture, the God level, then you get it. It's a game. And you don't get pulled into it. You know exactly how to alter it. There is a way to alter it. And you walk away empowered. So, if we had had an organized effort on those other worlds to deal with those emotions when the truth came out, we could have possibly had enough people moving in a different direction to alter the outcome. They would have had enough impact on the rest of the world that instead of destroying their world, they would have, they would have, they would have transmuted those feelings, altered the outcome of events, because there is a way to do that internally, and their timelines would have continued. Well, we need to do that now. So the way we're going to do that, we're going to start a grassroots effort. And we're going to start a, a series of teleconferences, two-hour teleconferences. There'll be live streams, and you can tune in and ask questions. But what we're going to do is we're going to start with a group of teachers who provide the solutions, the tools about what to do with these feelings and how to transmute these feelings that will provide you with awareness and understanding of why these things are happening so that you can take those feelings of anger and shame, and, I mean, anger and, and, and helplessness and hopelessness and transmute them into something very empowering. That is our goal at the very first Where Do We Go From Here teleconference. That's the name. It's going to be October 10th from 11 a.m. Central to 1 p.m. Central. And you can sign up at Re Journeys by Rebecca, uh, journeyswithrebecca.com. So this will be the first one. There will be Wendy Kennedy on there, myself, Rebecca Jernigan. I think her name is Nora Harold, and I think there's another person I was talking to, when, um, Rebecca, the other day. I think there's another a gentleman coming on, which would be kind of neat. So I hope you'll join us for uh, something that should have been done on the other timelines, but we're figuring it out this time. And we will make this a hopefully a monthly event, and it will develop uh, a life of its own and keep going. And we will, we will do, we will actually create an alternate outcome this time. So that's it for today, and I'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.